there is this one skill that a real estate agent should have and should learn and improve on consistently that it's going to transform your business. This one skill, there's a lot of them and there's a lot of things to work on, but this only one will transform your business a thousand percent, four thousand percent. I can give you a lot of tips that are going to transform your business 10, 5, 15 percent, 1 percent here and there. This one skill will create the biggest impact on your business. You ready? It's to learn how to make people feel comfortable and relax near you. A couple of things it's going to do. To become a great salesperson and the best salesperson, it comes from knowing the product the most. Not only the house and how it's built and how it works, but also the process and the situations, possible scenarios, feeling comfortable inside the deal. That comes with experience. That's one part of the thing. But the other part of the thing is when the people meet with you, it, you, you could be a brand new or maybe even thinking about getting into real estate. If you have the skill of making people feel comfortable with you and you are getting into a room and you know how to turn the room around that they are feeling that you are welcomed and you know how to ask questions and uh, read people because uh, we read people for a living. That's what we do. Um, if you start learning that, and it, it take time, takes time. You could be naturally. I didn't. I didn't have that naturally. I learned it with a lot of books, a lot of seminars, a lot of trainings I had to go through, and I'm still learning. But I feel like I'm pretty good at it. So you get me in a room. I know how to open up and kind of throw a little joke here and there, uh, kind of relate and make people feel comfortable with me, and that opens them up, and then we can talk. You know, like a client comes to you and then you're a buyer's agent. They're afraid that you're going to start selling them something right away. So that's your most important thing to start relaxing them. Same thing with the uh, sellers. When you're in front of them, uh, they, they have so many fears. And, you know, he's going to lock me into the contract. He's not going to let me know what's going on with my house. And he's going to sell it for less than it's worth. Those are the fears that sellers have. Um, whatever industry you're in, uh, if you're a sales guy, that's the first thing you want to do. And then, of course... If I'm going to give you a bonus tip, I'm going to give you the bonus tip right now. So the bonus one would be uh, learning to get out of the comfort zone every single day and create discipline around it. So if you know, in order for me to grow, and because if you're not growing, you're declining, and I can say that from my experience, because if we weren't growing last year, uh, our numbers would have been down. That's just, I just caught myself... Uh, thinking about it yesterday and luckily we I understand this concept of always growing and I see that our numbers are higher than the previous year but if we hadn't grown our numbers would have been lower that's the reality but going back to the bonus tip the bonus tip is this if you start um, putting yourself in uncomfortable situations every single day um, not only your business will grow but you will feel it inside you will feel it inside that I'm doing the things that are important I know I'm getting out of the comfort zone, and this is just going to be a question of when, uh, not whether should this happen or not. The, this message, basically, while I'm doing this video, I just pulled up to the office. We have a accountability meeting in a couple minutes with the team. Um, we have two groups, uh, more advanced than the beginner groups, and I always uh, think about these meetings, what I'm going to give a tip. Um, and then we're going to just uh, um, uh, talk and uh, share everybody's goals and things like that. That's the goal of these meetings. But I was, wanted to share this because uh, um, I'm getting a lot of messages lately. Should I get into real estate? How is this? The market is not so good. Would this work for me? And I see people that are getting into real estate don't have fundamentals. And, it's, and they don't understand the fundamentals. And it seems really attractive industry, but, you know... It's, you got to unpack it. You got to get, I don't know why I got into real estate because I wasn't really uh, reading enough and I wasn't getting prepared. I wasn't even uh, getting any feedback from experienced people. I just got in. Uh, I felt like this should work. And I was surprised. I was expecting something different. Um, so for you, I'm going to say, if you're in the beginning stages of maybe get the license, maybe I got the license. This is the most important question. You're dealing with people. There's no, I mean, house is the product. You need to learn about it. You need to know everything. 
there is you need to learn about new tools that are coming out there's new tools with ai and everything like that there's a lot of tools that have been out there and people don't know about them some realtors don't even know how to use simple tools that are there all the time um so you need to know how to use all the tools you need to know about the product you need to know about the loans you need to know about the legal stuff you need to basically the more you know the better the more confident you feel the more confident you feel the more people relax with you they probably pay you money okay um uh, but it's a people's business first so to learn how to talk to people and how to open them up and make them feel comfortable is the number one skill that you have to learn and you have to know how to do so um that my tip for the day i like to share everything i know but i just don't know what what questions you have you know because a lot of times i think this is no this is no this is i've talked about so if you have something that you have a question you can either direct message me through any platform or you can put a comment there and that's the reason for me to make a video so give me some likes or dislikes that gives me some feedback too and uh subscribe subscribe i like when the subscriber count is growing that motivates me to put more videos you know so thanks so much guys talk to you soon bye bye